This is a tutorial on how to make skins for the CycloDS Evolution. So here I have the folder that I downloaded from the CycloDS Evolution website. Uh, it's a skinning tutorial made by the CycloDS uh, team. And it contains a few files. First is the overall layout that the bottom screen is going to be. And it shows you specifically at what coordinates, I know it's very bad quality, at what coordinates the uh, pictures will be at. Next is the cheat icons. Um, next is the Evo Skinning TXT, which is the README on how to skin. Then there's the XML file, and I'll explain that later. There's the menu icons BMP and the scroll bar BMP. So what I'm going to look at first is the example skin.xml. Uh, you can open this in Dreamweaver, XML editor or notepad. I just decided to open it up in notepad. Um, at first it'll appear really jumbled. I spaced it out so that each line of code has its own line just so that's easier to read. And as you can see it's broken into three main parts. First is information on the top which lists basic information that's just to be read. It has nothing to do with actual skin. It's the name of the skin that you choose, uh, the name of the author, and the version number of the skin. Uh, second you have the bitmaps consists of five bitmaps. Uh, you have the top, which is the top screen on the, on the DS, the bottom, obviously the bottom screen, the menu icons, which are the icons here when on the bottom screen, the actual black areas in the middle, those are shown here, and the cheat icons, these, and last, the scroll, scroll bar. This. Now the last category is uh, colors. There's window fill color, button fill color, window border color, text list color, text window color, text status color, and selection color. And I'll go through what each of those are. Back at the folder I downloaded from the CycloDS forum, um, you should take a look at evo skinning.txt, which tells you um, very detailed about what each of them do, what each of the options do, and uh, it also says it specifies what size each of the images should be, and explains where they're going to be located and all that. Uh, it's basically everything I have in my video, except my video shows well firsthand exactly what you're going to be doing. These files will have to be named um, exactly as they are in the XML file, file or they won't be found when you're booting your uh, CycloDS. Now for the cheat icons, the menu icons, and the scroll bar, you can just copy the, what they have and uh, change the colors around, copy and paste uh, which pictures you want into the little squares. But uh, for the top and bottom, you're going to need to take, make your own pictures, and they're going to need to be 256 by 192 pixels. Um, in BMP 24-bit format. All I did was shrink two large pictures to those pixel sizes and saved them in that format. Now one thing you'll notice when you're looking at the XML file is that there's a transparency color option on the right side of all the bitmap files. What this color does is it tells, what, uh, it tells the CycloDS what color to ignore. In this case it's magenta and as you can see in the F uh, f pictures here, these backgrounds are in a light magenta. So they're actually going to appear white, uh, just completely transparent. If you have a background picture like I do of a bear, um, you're going to be able to see the bear straight through the magenta. Now for the third category, colors, um, first you're going to have window fill, which on the DS will be this. I'm in the settings option, and uh, you see the background is a, v a white. That's what the window fill button, uh, window fill color does. The next option, the button fill color, is the color that when you choose uh, cheats, you see the button, the yes in the background, the green. Uh, that's what the color will be. Next is window border color, which if you can see here, there's a very light gr green uh, line around the bordering of the options of this pop-up screen, and that's what the color is going to refer to. Text list, 
text list color refers to the entire list of games I have. Um, as you can see, the text is colored as black right now. Next option, text window, refers to the text color in this in the optional windows that pop up. The text status color uh, chooses the colors down here. Um, if you can see the time, it's in white, along with the uh, CycloDS firmware uh, version number. The last color option is the selection color. And as you can see, it's a light gray right now. As I um, go over a folder, it changes colors. After making all the pictures and editing the XML file, um, you'll get a folder like mine with my top bottom picture and all the icons along with the skin XML file. And uh, put it all in a folder and call it skin. And inside of your micro SD card, choose the CycloDS folder and copy the skin folder there and when you boot up your DS you should see your skin that you've made and that's about all there is to skinning a Cyclo DS um, it's rather more it's more complex than an R4 but it offers a lot more customizing and uh, you can really change exactly what you want if you have any questions feel free to leave a YouTube comment or email me at webmaster at flashcartreviews.com or sign up for the CycloDS forums and uh, ask for help there. We'd be more than happy to help you.